That's all right. All right, so this one we'll be looking at address the resolution and what that entails for getting our packets to our destination. So the first section is MAC and IP. We need a pair of addresses. We work layer two and layer three work together to get us to our destination. Now we've covered the per hop scenario before. <clears throat> so we already know that the MAC addresses are used to indicate which device is to pick up the frame and to action the information contained within. So we need to have a link between the layer three logical address and the layer two physical address. And we do this through a address resolution protocol. So just to recap why we need that address resolution protocol is that we have to have a source and destination MAC address as well as a source and destination IP address. So the IP address is given to us to go from end device to end device and the MAC address is okay, the one that tells us where we exit the cable to the next device along our path. So MAC address changes per hop. And as we've seen, a hop is where we enter an intermediate device such as router one and router two. So our framing will change on each segment of cable. So here we've got A to B as our source and destination MAC address. And then between routers one and two, we have C and D, which will be this hops MAC addresses. And then on our final hop, we'll go from E to five as our final destination is achieved. And each hop, our source and destination IP address does not change. Only the framing of the MAC addresses changes per hop. How does ARP work? Well, ARP sends a little message out saying, I need to get information to a IP address and it's a broadcast, so every other layer two device will pick it up and look to see whether that IP address is its own. So it's trying to get to 1.7. So it sends a little broadcast out saying, I need to get to 1.7. 1.8 picks it up, goes, yeah, it's not my, my address. I don't need to respond. 1.6 picks it up, looks at it, no, not my IP address, don't respond. H4, oh, that's my IP address. I'll respond with my MAC address. And now host one has pair between the layer three and layer two addressing. So it now can forward the information because remember all the source and destination addresses need to be filled in in the headers before you can send the information off so that's just a whole lot load of words that basically goes through what I just said there now each host will have a um, ARP resolution uh, 
table and within that table it will have a list of IP addresses and a list of MAC addresses that it forwards as a pair. Okay, so in each ARP table there are entries and these entries need to be refreshed and basically they're refreshed every five minutes by default in a switch and within a device it can be set to different timings but here okay change text box to I'll remove this ARP entry between 15 and 45 seconds if it's not used okay so basically what we have here is the ability to keep up-to-date information in the ARP table so the timer that it keeps um, changes depending on the operating system so host A may only keep it for two minutes our switch will keep it for five minutes so depending on your device and the operating system that it uses depends on how long the information in the ARP table is kept for but just be aware that every time you use the ARP table entry in other words you match the IP address and that um, MAC address together to make a forwarding decision it refreshes the timer in that table you can remove the entries manually you can actually flush the ARP table out and tell it to um, renew all of its entries from scratch um, you would do this in a case of having a major failure and you're still not being able to get information sent to your de new destination for example so in the routers and switches you use a show IP ARP and it will tell you what the protocol is in this case it's an internet protocol so IP protocol the layer 3 address how old it is and the corresponding MAC address to get there as well as the interface to send it out on your host device you use ARP minus A if it's a Microsoft operating system and again there's your list of IP addresses the list of MAC addresses and how it was learnt it was learnt dynamically in other words it used an ARP request to resolve the pairing so ARP requests are received by every device on the local network but only the ones that match should reply now because it's a broadcast it is prone to not prone it can be exploited and what this exploit is here we have a little hacker sitting on host C and they're going to send a reply saying I'm the MAC address that you're after okay so it's poisoning the table of A with false information and A instead of sending it directly to the gateway will now send it to C and what C does is it collects it puts on the correct frame information and sends it to the gateway but 
this allows it to see all the traffic as it comes in and out so it's redirecting all the traffic that is destined from A and B to router 1 it will now go to router C and then I'll forward it to router 1 and this is known as a spoofing attack where it um, counterfeits the MAC address table entry so that it can actually monitor all the traffic going through that network. Okay, neighbor discovery messages in IPv6. It basically sends out a little message and in that protocol it looks at the address resolution, discover routers, discover any redirection and it uses neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertising messages to send this information to and from each other and when you're talking to the routers it's using router solicitation and router advertisement messages between the routers to communicate that same information but between the routers and we need to understand how this discovery protocol works so that we can fault find it. So a neighbor solicitation message is sent. And basically, it basically is like the ARP address resolution, but at IPv6. So Again, it's sending out a message saying, hey, this IP address, whoever has it, I need your MAC address. Just like IPv4 does with ARP, IPv6 does with neighbor discovery. Okay. And the device that has that address will send it back with its MAC address. So this device has an address which is part of the information it sends and that way the neighbour can send it directly back to this device. So hard of a chapter isn't it? It's done, it's dusted. So we need to have a pairing of layer two and layer three addresses so that we can fill out the source and destination fields within our layer three and layer two headers to enable us to forward any data off a host machine so we use the address resolution protocol to send a request out to an IP address on a frame broadcast message, so a layer two broadcast. And every device will pick up the frame because it's broadcast. It'll look at it, go, this is not my IP address. I don't need to respond to it. If it has the IP address, it will respond with its MAC address. If it's a router acting as a gateway, it will respond to that going, this is not a local network address. It is a um, remote network address. You will send it to me as on the gateway. The same function is done under neighbor discovery within IPv6. So ARP is the protocol that is used in IPv4 to do this pairing. And 
neighbor discovery protocol is used in IPv6 to do that same discovery function of layer two addresses. And that's it. Massive, massive chapter. <laughs>